just confirming gear is down battery on got our very dull green light it's good note some times four got a brand new pen today too Okie doke, we've got five minutes on the left, five minutes on the right. Cool. Put that in my lunchbox. Put that in my lunchbox. Put that over the back. Make sure it's not going to go anywhere. Okay, so. Pitch is full fine, mixture is rich, throttle barely cracked, okie deck, we'll go the beacon on, no one's around, clear prop. Oh, lovely, almost. Lovely machine. Okay, now we've got the oil pressure coming up, that's good. Right, our generator can come online. Shut that fill up. Still all sitting here waiting for the engine to warm up for a run up. We'll run through a takeoff safety brief. So we're taking from runway 17. If we have an engine fire failure, a major abnormality whilst we're on the runway, we're going to close the throttle, pull the pump brake. If we're already airborne with runway remaining, then we'll close the throttle, dump all the flaps and land on the remaining runway using the brake as required or the overrun if necessary. If we're already airborne and on our runway remaining we're going to lower the nose, set the best glide speed, pick a field 30 degrees either side of the nose, use flapping gear as required to get into the field. Uh, we'll be for a left downwind departure maintaining 1500. Okay, oil temps slowly coming up, got an awfully large range of normal operating temps there, so basically anything between freezing cold and boiling appears to be within limits. These old DIs are really cool. Got to push the knob in and turn them. What do we set the compasses at 135 degrees? And then you've got to make sure that that knob comes back out again and it's free to wiggle, otherwise it'll, um, it'll sit there and turn the, um, the DI without you actually meaning to. Trim wheels down here behind the control column, sort of almost as hard to get to as on the A36. Uh, but the indicator is over here, so we're currently showing zero degrees nose up. But the manual tells us to go three degrees nose up trim for only the front seats occupied. So trims, mixture is full rich, magnetos are on both, master switch is on, both battery and generator. Propeller is full fine. Park brake on for the run-up. Fuel, we're on the left. We're going to remain on the left, and we've got plenty of quantity in the left. Flaps, we've got set zero, indicating up and visually confirmed up. Instruments, we've set the DI to the compass. We'll set the AH there. Switches, we've got the nav lights on and the beacon on. Controls. Hatches and harnesses are secure. Click, clap, front and back. Door is shut and a window will shut when we line up because it's currently our air conditioner. Okie doke, we're just coming up to the normal operating range there. The manual calls for a run up to 1900 RPM for a prop cycle and a mag check. Give it another couple of seconds. Okay, there it is there. So mixture is rich. Holding the brakes. Dane, six days. Oh, we might shut that one.
we're in a break break system going to get that brass to Bonanza. Lines of shortly roll from way 17, down with departure to main one, not quite 1500 traffic system, main one. Thank you, Jack. So mixture is full rich, pedo heat not required, pump not required, instruments still set and set, switches, nav's a beacon, we won't worry about. Landing lights, transponder to out, trims, we have set and traffic, we've just made our call, we'll just once again clear the turn, okay, we'll go shout. Temperatures and pressures are still in the green. Okay, we're going to come to a complete stop on the runway. Just being a new type, I've never flown before, I like to pick the attitude, because that's roughly what I'm looking for when I come back to land. Okie doke, everything is all the way up. Feet off the brakes, ailerons into wind, smoothly coming up to full throttle. Pop should government at 2625. <laughs> Positive rate, pull the lever across, gear can come up. Wow, that's a lot more right rudder it needs in the takeoff than, uh, than the A36 did. Okay, gear is up. Well, oh, that light's a bit brighter, that's good. Come through 300, we'll come back to 25 inches. RPM. So we don't upset the neighbours too much. Clear right, clear centre, clear left. Uh, Made with traffic by the end of the now. Uh, conducting the sentiment approach for the Mason Darn Brakes and pressure heels back and forth. Park brake is off. Another carriage down. Got a green, only just. Be nice if that was a bit brighter. Mixture, full rich. Fuel, still on the left, still got sufficient quantity for go around. Instruments, line with runway. Switches, that light's beacon on. Controls, matches and harnesses. Strapped in. Okay, we'll start pushing that prop up. Pitch of the full pine, undercarriage, down and locked. Got a green, flat, set about half, which will be sufficient for the sort of gusty conditions. And cow flaps will open back up again. Ready for a go around. Makes me nervous that's uh, not very pronounced green line. Okay, oh, that's the other end of the runway. Okay, I've come to idle. Looking for that attitude we noted when we lined up. A little bit of right aileron, left rudder. Ooh, land's nice. More and more aileron into wind. As we slow down, Start coming onto the brakes now. 
nice and gently. Because this is a very lifty wing, you know, strong brakes. Apparently they've got a reputation for flat spotting tyres, so I'll make sure we don't do that. Okay, now that we've got everything under control, we'll confirm it flaps because they're reversed for most aeroplanes. Pull the lever across, lever up, left, centre, above, right. Program out of my Oscar Benanza backtrack from 105 for the open traffic, mate. Here we are, we'll go transponder back to standby. Oh, PC12 sitting there. Not sure whose that is. Welcome to the shop. This is where we do all our maintenance. I've also got my hat on for some uh, free brand placement. Actually, really nice blue bananas, as I've noticed too. Really light on the controls. Into wind, nose wheel straight. There we go. Okay, we'll put that part break on. Oh, there we go. Be nice if it had sort of the rest of the lever attached, but anyway. What do you do? Note that time there. Five. Note the time. Put my new pen back in its pocket before I need another new pen. Okay, those nav lights can go off, and we can go the radio off, we'll go the intercom off, do a mag check, and we'll shut it down. Thanks for watching my first flight in a VTAL.